In this video, we will be covering the procurement management module for PressorShop ERP. The demo will be done using a PressorShop 1.7 admin panel. However, the tool is equally available on PrestaShop 1.6. To the left of the admin panel, we will find the procurements due. These are the supplier orders we should be receiving. To the right are the supplier orders to be completed. These are the orders which we do not yet have the status expected. Suppliers. Within the tab Suppliers, the module will use the suppliers which already exist in your press shop and allow you to add more details to their description. By clicking on a supplier, we will be taken to the standard settings of the supplier in press shop and specific settings to the module such as the minimum order quantity. An alert will notify us if the supplier has not met the settings, such as the minimum order quantity. Here, the currency is set by default the delay in replenishment and the tax rate by default. At the payment level, the conditions of the payment and the payment methods are set by default for the supplier. We will find in the supplier order areas in which to input the PayPal, IBAN or RIB. A database with contacts, commercials, after sale and accounting. And finally, a history of orders that have been passed with the supplier. Supply Needs We will return to the primary tab for procurement management. The tab Supply Needs will list all the products which the system recommends to be purchased. Two primary reasons will suggest a supply need. Whilst the stock of a product goes below the warning stock level, or when a product has been sold but the product is not in stock. For each product we will find general information on the product, stock level, warning stock level and ideal stock level. This product has a stock of three. However, if it has a warning stock level of 100 and an ideal stock level of 100, once the stock goes below the warning stock level, the system will automatically present the product in this list in order for it to be purchased. For each of these products, we will equally find the necessary quantities to purchase to satisfy the back orders and meet the ideal stock level. The quantity to receive is the quantity already present in the supplier orders which we will be receiving and the list of suppliers associated to the product we will be able to see the example that the first product is available at GMM time and Zhang with the purchase price next to the supplier. This will allow you to optimize procurement. From this list, it is also possible to create a draft supply order via the drop-down menu at the top. If we choose the supplier Zhang, we will be able to select the products which we wish to purchase and define the quantities with the buttons minimum and maximum or directly enter the value. Supplier order creation. Once all the quantities to be purchased have been added, we will be able to create a new order. Clicking on the button Create New Purchase Order forces the system to create a new supplier order. Here, we will create a new supplier order based on the supply needs. We can also create a supplier order from scratch. Within the supplier order, we will find the date of creation, modifications, the associated supplier, and the state. Different states are made available to you in order to follow the progress of the supplier. Up till the critical status waiting for reception, the system will take into account the future reception of the merchandise. With an estimated date of reception displayed here, we will equally be able to find information on costs. Let's take a look at the supply order. This one here is awaiting reception. In the cost tab, we will find the quote which is automatically inherited by the supplier, the exchange rate, shipping costs and eventually additional costs. We will be using this information to evaluate the true cost of acquisition of this product. Not compulsory. In the tab expedition, we will be able to input the tracking number and the transporter. The commercial portion covers the information specific to the supplier, the reference on the supplier's end, the billing date, the payment date, conditions. Following this, we have the products which are present in this order. Not compulsory. For each product, we will be able to input a supplier reference. If the supplier does not use the same reference, the order quantity, the quantity already received, the expected quantity, the purchase price, and the total cost of the product. For this example, we have a purchase price of 200. The system takes into account the shipping costs and other additional costs to calculate that the product will cost 207.33 cents, and eventually the tax rate if needed. 
Here we have the products which are already available in the order. If we wish to add more products, we select the tab Add Products and from here we have access to the entire database of PrestaShop. As an example, we will be adding this product 10 times. We input the quantity and save it. The product is added to the list and we will see the total acquisition cost of the product at a reduction as the forwarding costs have been integrated into a new product. Once the supplier order is ready, we will send it to the supplier. For this, we have two options. Either we click on a button to print and then access the PDF directly, which covers the primary information of the supply orders, quantities, reference, product, purchase price, etc. From there, we print the document and send it to the supplier. Or we can use the button notify. The system will send an email directly to the supplier, which will have the PDF as an attachment. Receiving the order. We have now received the order. Return to the screen procurement management, click on the order waiting for reception and use the button receive. In this new screen, we will define for each product the quantity received. Here, we will do it manually, but we may equally use barcodes. If you scan any product, the quantity will automatically be adjusted. We are going to create a partial reception, so we will be inputting quantities and then clicking save. We will receive a confirmation message. The system will then generate a reception in regards to the purchase order. This button will allow us to print a PDF relating to the reception. We can see the percentage received and update the status to partially received. A few days later, if you receive the missing merchandise of the order, you can return here and create a second reception and the system will adjust the quantities directly in the stock level. We are going to add two units of the product double and five units of the product Catan and update the stock instantly. The final feature, these are the supply need margin levels. These allow you to define for each product a margin level alert and an ideal stock level. Once the stock goes below this, the system will automatically generate a new supply need to purchase the necessary quantity to reach the ideal stock. That is all for today's presentation, feel free to watch our other guides.